good morning good morning my lovely students how are you doing i hope you're doing well it's a new week and a new day it's sunday again the first day of the week and today we don't have a new lesson but we are going to revise what we have learned in the previous weeks you know why because we have an english exam and i want you to get a full mark how you will do this by listening to miss mona okay everyone i want you to be focused listen carefully and grab some papers and pencils because i want you to write what is important later on during the revision i'm gonna ask you to write some things and i want you to follow me so it's time to revise what we have learned before and you know what i love revision because revision will help me to remember all the things that i have learned before okay everyone so we are going to revise simple present tense and long i vowels but before we start, as usual, I want someone to help me to read the day and date. Who's going to help me today to read the day and date? At the beginning of the lesson, I said to you it's a new week and a new day, right? And something else, it's a new month. Well done. So let's read together the day and date. The day is Sunday, and the date is May 3, 2020. Okay, everyone, so I want you to be ready. So let's get started. Let's do some actions. What about doing some actions? Sure. So I want you, everyone, to stand up and to clap your hands three times and to shout, I love revision. Okay, so let's do it, everyone. Stand up, your hands in the air, clap your hands three times. One, two, three, and shout, I love revision. I love revision. So, as I said to you so far, revision is very important because it will help us to remember what we have learned before. So, please pay attention. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify simple present tense verbs and also blend and build words with a long I. Here we go. Okay. Um, everyone, I want you to help me to remember what does a simple present tense mean and when and why do we use simple present tense we use simple present tense when we talk about our daily routine like i drink fresh milk every day or i practice taekwondo every monday and also a simple present tense can be used when we talk about facts facts well done so everyone uh, we use the simple present tense when we want to talk about our daily routine or something that we usually do. So, let's read what's written over here. Notice the S, S at the end of the verb in each sentence. So everyone, I want you to pay attention and to write, if I ask you to write or to record the important information on your paper. So everyone, we are going to talk about when to add S to the verb in the simple present tense, okay? So here's the rule, okay everyone, and you should follow the rule to know what to do. In the simple present tense, <clears throat> or let me say something, if the verb comes after she, he, or at, you need to add S or ES to the verb. And also, if the verb comes after singular nouns, you need to add S or ES. 
So everyone, let's, um, you know, remember together what does a verb mean? What does a verb mean? A verb is an action, and an action is something we do. For example, jumping, sleeping, running, eating. Well done. And what about, what about nouns? What does a noun mean? A noun is a person, place, thing, or animal. So we can say nouns are names of people, places, things, and animals. Well done. So everyone, if the verb comes after singular nouns, you're going to add S or ES. Okay? So let's read the sentences over here. And I want you to pay attention to the verb every time and to see or to notice how we added S to the verb every time the verb comes after. He, she, or it, or comes after singular nouns. So let's read, or before reading, look at the picture and tell me what is the boy doing? Drinking. Drinking, well done. So drink is the verb. verb. So let's look at the verb and see, um, you know, if we're going to add S or no to the verb. He drinks milk. Ali drinks milk. Okay, so everyone, this is the verb. Okay, can you tell me why did we add S to the verb? Because there's he. Okay, so, okay, one more time. Why did we add S to the verb? Because there is... Because the verb comes after... The noun. The noun in this sentence. And in the first sentence, because there is he. He. Okay, everyone. So remember, if the verb comes after he, okay, she, and it, we need to add s. S to the verb, okay? We need to add S, S. to the verb, the verb, okay? The verb plus, plus S, okay? So let's go and read what's written over here. Okay, before reading, what is she doing? Eating. Well done. So let's read the sentence. She eats healthy food. Muna eats healthy food. Wow, see everyone? I like to eat healthy food. And also, I want you to eat healthy food. So, everyone, I want you to notice that we added S to the verb because it comes after she. Okay? And here, we added S to the verb because it comes, uh, you know, after singular noun. Okay? So, let's, let's go to the last sentence. Um, before, uh, before we read, I want you to look at the picture and tell me what can you see. I can see a dog running. So let's read the sentence. It runs fast. The dog runs fast. Well done. So everyone, as you can see, we added S to the verb because it comes after it. And also here we added S to the verb because it comes after a singular noun. So everyone, singular nouns means, or singular, the word singular means um, only one. For example, one cat, one uh, dog, one house, one boy, okay? So let me give you an example when I say, I saw a cat yesterday. It's singular, right? The cat is singular. But when I say, I saw two cats yesterday, it's not singular anymore because it's more than one. So singular means one. So everyone, she, he and it, okay, are 
friends to S and ES. Okay? And also the singular noun likes S and ES to come with the verb. So, she, he and it plus the verb plus... So everyone, one more time. She, he and it are friends. They are friends. They love each other. And always the verb that comes after she, he or it will take S. Okay? They are very special. S or E. S. Okay? So let me show you something. For example, I can say she eats. I need to add S. She eats. He eats. It eats. Okay, everyone? So I need to add um, let me say S to the verb. Okay, this is the verb. Remember, the verb comes uh, or that comes after she, he or it should uh, or you should put S to it. And the verb is something we do. Okay, something we do. Uh, for example, eating, running, jumping. So if the verb comes after she, he or it, you need to add S to the verb and something else. And remember everyone, if the verb comes after singular nouns, you need to add S to the verb. For example, let me say, Ahmed goes to school every day. I can say Ahmed go. I need to, I need to add ES, okay? So singular nouns, remember, singular nouns uh, such as Ahmed, cat, uh, dog, only one, one thing. When, I, when you talk about one thing, uh, in the simple present tense, the verb should take S or ES. So now let's move to rule number two, everyone. Um, listen carefully. So when the verb comes after I, you, we, or they, we add nothing to the verb. And also when the verb comes after plural nouns, we add nothing to the verb. We're going to write this, the verb without any changes. Okay, everyone. So I, you, we, and they. I, you, we, and they, and also plural nouns. Remember, plural more than one. More than one. For example, can you give me an example? Boys, cats, bats, elephants. Well done. So, uh, plural means more than one, and singular means only one. one. So, look at the picture over here and tell me what are they doing. They are drinking milk. Okay, so let's read the sentence. They drink milk. Where is the verb? Drink. Drink. Okay, so I want you to notice that the verb or the verb that comes after they doesn't have an S. Well done. There is nothing over here. No S. Let's read what's next. Ali and Mona drink milk. Ali and Mona. So more than one. one. More than one. What did they do? Drink milk. Drink, drink milk. So do you see? Or I want you to look at the verb. We add nothing to the Ver verb. So let's look over here. What are they doing? They are eating. They are eating. So let's read the sentence. We eat healthy food. Where is the verb? Eat. What do you notice? The word eat or the verb eat doesn't have an S. Why? Because it comes after we. We and we means more than one. Let's move to uh, the sentence over here. Ali and I eat healthy food. Well done. So, what do you notice? Where's the verb first? Eat. The verb is eat. And the verb eat does not have a S. Okay, because... Can you tell me the reason? Because eat comes after Ali and I. More than? 
And Ali and I is more than one person. Well done. So let's go to the last one. I play football. Where's the verb? I. No, where's the verb? Oh, sorry, play. Okay, so the verb is play. And what do you notice? The verb play does not have a S. And it comes after, after I. Well done. So everyone, I, they, we, you, and what else? Only these are very lazy. And when the verb comes after them, they do nothing to the verb. Nothing will be changed. You're going to put the verb as same as it is. So everyone, the verb will be the same. For example, let's say, or let's choose the verb play. I play, they play, we play, you play. While, let's go back to this everyone. Okay. While, uh oh, what happened? Okay, while everyone, she, he, and it are very active and they can change the Verb. verb well done so i can I, they will change the verb and we are gonna add s we're gonna add s okay so everyone as you can see she plays he plays it plays okay so you need to write this on a piece of paper and please don't forget it so everyone, pay attention. I'm going to say something uh, which is very important and I want you to pay attention. Okay, so as I said to you before, that we add S to the verb when the verb comes after she, he, or it, right? And sometimes we add ES, but in which cases we will add ES, that's what we are going to remember together. So everyone, I want you to draw the small map or this small map on uh, your paper or notebook. Okay, so as you can see, ES. Okay, when do we add ES to the, uh, to the end of the verb? In which cases? Okay, so listen carefully. When the verb ends with letter O or CH. Sh, s, okay, and s, x, or z. So let's read these sentences together to see, okay, where to add or when to add, sorry. ES to the uh, end of the verb or to the end of the so let's read these sentences together and I want you to notice how do we add ES to the verb every time the verb finishes with these letters let's go ahead fix he fixes things do you see the verb? Yeah. And um, what do you notice? I noticed that the word or the verb fixes has ES. The reason it has ES because there is an X. Let's read what's next. Go. Ahmed goes to sleep very early. Where's the verb? Goes. The verb goes has ES.
The reason it has ES because it has O. Okay, great. And also, you didn't mention that the verb in this sentence comes after he. And the verb in this sentence comes after singular noun. Oh, yeah, this is very important, guys. Okay, let's read here. Brush. She brushes her teeth every day. What is the verb? Brush. Okay. And what do you notice? I noticed that the word brush comes after she. And also that it has sh. Okay. So that's why we added es at the end of the verb. Okay, let's go to the last one. Buzz. The bee buzzes in and out of the flower. So the bee only, or let me say, only one bee. bee. One bee. Singular noun. And we added es to the verb because? Because it has z. Well done. Okay, everyone, uh, task time. And I know there are a lot of things to remember today, but I am sure you are so smart, you are um, very good, and you can get all these information, put them in your mind, study well, and then you will get a full mark. So, everyone wants to circle each present tense verb. We're looking for the verb. The verb is something we do. Then write the verb on the line over here. So, let's read the sentence and then everyone write the verb. Let's go to the first sentence. The boys look at the nighttime sky. Okay, so what is the verb? Look. Well done. So you're going to write it here, okay, everyone? Let's go to number two. Adam sees a shooting star. Where is the verb? Sees. Well done. The moonlight shines in the sky. Where is the verb? Moonlight. No, moonlight is a oh, noun. Oh, sorry. Shines. Shines, yeah, because moonlight is a, is a noun. Okay, so let's move to number four. The stars sparkle at night. Okay, where is the verb? Sparkle. Well done. So everyone, now let's move to section B. I want you to use these verbs in sentences. Remember when to add S or ES to the verb. So everyone, let's put the first one in a sentence. Okay. Maha eats all her lunch. So everyone remember you need to start with a capital letter and uh, end your sentence with a period. So, maha is a singular noun. That's why we added S to the verb. So, I want you to do uh, this one. Play and fix. Put them in sentences. Okay? Now, let's go to task number two. Write the correct form of the present tense verb so that it agrees with the subject. So task number two, write the correct form of the present tense verb so that it agrees with the subject. Okay, so everyone, here is the verb and you're going to read the sentence and then decide if you're going to add S or ES or you are not going to change the verb at all. You're going to put the verb without s so you have three options uh to put s or es or not to change the verb so let's read number one rose and jill space the nighttime 
sky. So here's the verb. What we're going to do with the verb? We're not going to add S because Jules and Jill are two people, more than one. Well done. Let's go to number two. They space for shooting stars. They hunt for shooting stars. We're not going to add S because they is more than one. Well done. Let's go to number three. Rose's mother space a telescope. Rose's mother brings a telescope because Rose's mother is only one. It's a singular noun. Well done. That's why you added S to the verb. Okay, let's go to number four. A, a telescope space them to... Sorry. A telescope space them look at the stars. Over a telescope here. helps okay. them look at... The stars. So why did you add S at the because, end of the verb? Because telescope is because it's only one telescope. Okay, number five. The girls space the moon. The girls see the moon because the girls is more than one. Okay. It space big and white. It looks big and white because it is only one. A star. A Based across the sky. Across the sky, a star, across the sky. So what we're gonna add here? A star, only one star. So it will be S. What do uh, you mean? A star shoots across the sky. So we added S here because because a star is only one. Let's go to number eight. It space in the darkness. It flashes in the darkness. Flashes. So what I'm going to do is add ES. Add ES. Why? Because it has it. No, why am I going to add ES also? Why I didn't add S only? Because the verb ends with a SH. Excellent. Shh. Ends with a sh. Sh. Okay. So because a uh, letter S and H, when you put them the, together, they will make a new sound, which is sh. Well done. Okay. Now let's uh, revise the long I together. Remember the letter I, Y, I, G, H, and I, E can stand for the long I sound. Okay, everyone. So these letters can make a sound or the long I sound. So listen to the vowel sound as you can say the word kind, why, might, and skies. We have read these words before and I want you everyone to read it one more time and to look carefully at uh, these letters. I, Y, I, G, H, and I, E. And remember, these sounds make, or sorry, these letters make the long I, I sound. sound. Well done. So everyone, what you are going to do over here is to circle the word that names each picture. So, what's this everyone? Is a it tie. A tie. Well done. Because, can you read this word? Tip. Tie. Tie. Tip is a short I. Well done. So the correct one is tie. 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 Number two. Okay, number two. Cry crib. It is cry because the baby is crying. Cry. Okay. Let's go over here. Pie pin. It's pie because pin is not a long I. Okay, number four. List light. It's light because it has the sound of the long I. Well done. So everyone, finally, write the words in the box in the correct list below. Okay, here you are going to uh, read what's written over here. So let me, let me read the first one. Words with the long I sound as in fine. As in find. Can you find them over here? Yeah. Mind. Mind. 
and where else? Wild. Wild. Find wild mind. Okay, let's go to number two. Words with the long I sound as in fly. Dry. 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 And cry. Cry. Well done. Okay, now number three. Words with the long I sound as in bright. Sight, light, high, high, well done. So words with the long I sound as in high. Lie and tie. Great. So finally, I want to say to you, please make sure that you're working so hard. And inshallah, you will get a full mark. Okay, everyone, and have a great day.